For nearly four years, media outlets in the state have covered the story of Justin Blakeney, accused of killing Victoria Viner, his fiancée's two-year-old daughter. But there's one story that hasn't been told until now. We talked to Victoria's father in this Leader Call TV exclusive. But yeah, there's often, there's often times I, I wish I would have done something different, but, but, but I don't know. I don't know what I could have done, did what I thought I could do. Vincent Viner had joint custody at the time of Victoria's death and says he felt uncomfortable around Blakeney. But I was sus suspicious of activity going on towards a child, like maybe abuse or something. I called DHS and uh, made complaints and they supposedly investigated but never did nothing about it. Or they went out there but they said that they didn't find nothing. Viner noticed marks on Victoria's legs and thought her mother Lily should take her to the doctor. Her mom knew of me. Um, Going to go to DHS and making complaints, and she thought I'd get custody of her if she, you know, if, if she took her to the doctor. Then in August 2010, Victoria supposedly just passed out and was sent to the hospital. We found out through a friend who was working at both Wyoming's. Uh, they didn't directly call me. She died in Jackson three days later. They didn't want to. As difficult as it is, Viner says sitting through the trial is providing him with clarity. Getting a lot of helpful information that, I, that, was, that was needed and um, um, it's been a long time coming. So. There is one thing he says he knows without a doubt. Do you believe that Justin Blakeney killed Victoria? Absolutely. I die 100%. Um, nothing added up from day one. For Leader Call TV, I'm Cassidy Hankins.